today, the anniversary of Brian Epstein, or Brian Epstein, depending on who you ask. Mark Lewison will confirm later. Um, who, now you see, read the book. Um, he went to see the Beatles for the first time in the cavern today in 1961. And, uh, Obviously, it's the first day of the pre-apocalypse, <laughs> so we're getting ready for that. But it's also, and one of the reasons I wanted to do the tour now, is it's the 25th anniversary of me breaking me back. So this time, 25 years ago, I was lying in a hospital bed with eight broke vertebrae, a broken sternum that missed me half by quarter of an inch. And for four days, he thought I was going to die. And then the doctor came in, I was just lying flat, I couldn't move for months. And uh, he came in, he said, well, Mr. Wiley, we don't think you're going to die now. I went, great, and he went, no, we thought you were going to die. And he's like the doctor in The Simpsons. And um, I had the best hallucinations I've ever had in my life that night, and it was endorphins healing my fucking body. And I'm nearly there. A little while longer, and I'll be ready. The side effect of it was I lost some hair and got fat. So anyone who gives me any stick, you're laughing at my illness. <laughs> songs or just stand here? Do we know anymore? No. No. Just remember again and then fuck off. These won't remember. Remember. I should have said that on the 5th of November. Fuck the lot of you. Except for the people who don't like swearing. In which case I apologise. How long have we been on? This must be fulfilled the contract. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Seven. One, two, one, two, three. That's hot. Tuning is now, in a way that it never was, important to me. Because I realised that uh, Makes me sound better. One. I apologise. Yes. Apologise to you for one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> Yeah.
song. It was about a survey I read in The Guardian in 1984 that said that when Liverpool was having the toughest time that I knew, uh, and had a lot of tough times, there was a survey that said that 70 odd percent of people wanted to leave and come to London and have a better life and whatever. And I kind of, A, I hadn't met those people, mainly because they'd gone to London, obviously. And, uh, I wouldn't come to London. And, uh, I, but it just struck me that if you, if you want a place to survive, you've got to fight for it, you've got to come back to the city and make it happen. And uh, the Tories wanted to leave it to manage decline. The city was going to be left to manage decline. And I, and a lot of my friends and a lot of good people said that's not going to happen. And we fought and we kept it alive, we kept it going. But as long as we could, whether through the arts or just the general work and support each other. And then it got to a point where people wanted to give us money, like the Capital of Culture came. And all of a sudden, the city has become a new blossoming. I don't agree with all the things that are happening and I can't afford to live there now. But it's fucking amazing the power of what people can do. And if you what happened last night, that's as, as important now as you're never going to hear. We now have to fight for the things we believe in. It's not a physical thing anymore. It's a spiritual thing. It's a powerful thing. And we, the people, can change things a little bit every day. It doesn't always have to be a massive thing. But if you have got any explosives, we are happy to share them and just keep them on the way home. Yeah, they said it was all over for Liverpool, but look at Liverpool now. They said it was all over for me and I'm here. Uh, that's good enough for me. Let time go by Come back The will to survive Come